In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a way, an easiest way to use forms, forms for with a web builder. So, in this case, like you could create your own forms, but what happened is the the forms is going to be redirected to your email. And you want something more professional to make it easier for you and like you know you could have like an access imagine you having a, a website of you selling a product or something like that like in my case I'm selling a product for a friend of mine this is his website so his website look like that so when people try to portrait purchase or buy something to press order and they're gonna go to the page so this is always a week you just create a test all that and this is a HTML file you created the size of your want and this is how it goes It's a form you could create different form but what I like from this form <coughs> sorry guys I'm a little sick so this I call it gap form one of the best platform to create forms so this is how it looks I created the name then the email the phone birthday sex shipping address and then the product is how it looks so they could by pressing two or three is gonna multiply you know plus the chipping stay the same but this is a whole thing that you could use your mobile app for this so this is the Dutch board or the whistle week all right let me try to um, anyway my forms that's how it looks once you create an account pricing um, price the pricing is a very cheap pricing thing meaning you could go monthly fee you could go yearly I go for monthly fee and this is what they offer you the free one I don't recommend it to you it's just not that so what I'm using is this one, the cheapest one. Right now, I'm using the cheapest one. But what I like from this, especially when you have an administration page from the thing that you could create in the administration page, any form that you see the dashboard that we have right here, the same dashboard instead of in your form. I could just like the whole create form and all the stuff. I could put it in the administration page from Wisawick Web Builder. It's similar to an it's gonna be similar to an SMS CMS, I'm sorry. Similar to a CMS, but this is only about forms. So you could have something extra on your administration page so this is how it looks and it goes well to paper and everything and pff, I'm gonna show you right now you're gonna like it. anyway you could create all the stuff how to use form after you pay the thing and you create your account this is gonna come up create a new form if you want a template that is already made with a link or you want a single form or you want to create different form is already templates on it you create a a title for your form and that form so after you have created it you put the title the product whatever you press add form you could put a hider you could put a name, email, 
address, phone number, etc. A day, anything you want. But what I really like from this is that you could play with it as many way you want. It's a lot of stuff on it. It's a divider, the breakpoint thing. It's a divider, you see. So imagine I want to see it <clears throat> to preview it. So this is how it looks. If you wanted to make it required to to enter it, you see, to go back, that's the divider thing. So if you want to make them to submit the information that you want, like I want them to submit their name, you just press pro property, then where it says name, require. In the require, you could also change the thing, the subtitle. You could put an option. You could put a. You could put a meta name like that. You could go flex. Perfect. Uh, all that stuff, you know. You could play with it, especially <coughs> when you have something with people payments. You go at square, a square. I'm sorry, a square, PayPal, all those software that help you get your payment through them, and you don't have to wait for no pending, no pending transaction, none of that. So, like, I want to play with PayPal right now. I'm gonna create um, my PayPal email. Selling product. Go down. You fixed up anything you want it to look like. The logo of the product. Or the the product. I mean your company logo. Anything. And I just have a few bad pictures in there. My background thing. So I'm not going to show. Anyway. You create the, the thing to throw it. For the price, I want it to be twenty dollars. Uh, let me see. I think I got a few. I'm just gonna put my front product to see how, to show you how it's gonna look. Require, because you want them to pay you. Because if you don't, when you press next, it's just gonna like send you the information that they put above. So you have to make them require the quantity, how many bottles, like how many product that they want sent. Drop down. Always here put a number one to start the sale on number one not on zero. Press yes, and this is how it's gonna look. All that. Press save. <coughs> you could play with this so much. Yo, I like this. I love this. So, you could add a coupon code. You could be putting 2018, 1, 2, 3. 2018, 1, 2, 3. Um, you want it to be not, not a discount percentage, or you could just put a thing. I'm going to put $5 or less. 5 five dollars discount cheap in total and uh, ten dollars and global stuff you know so that's a coupon code cheapen thing you could just flat rate I think of ten tax if you want to put tax on it you could go ahead for it and that's how it's gonna look. So, what I might do is the I'm gonna put this in the bottom, right here, right, and waste the submit submit button. Oh my God, what a dip! 
I'm gonna delete this one. The separating thing. So make sure that that's thing. You could edit the zoom instead of zoom me or now or by now by now and that's it I'm gonna just go like that this copy this oh especially when you copy this you could have the you could have this like some I'm gonna show you right now alright I'm gonna publicate it right so it's a feature that you don't have to go all the time to whistle awake and change the price or change the coupon code or change the form I'm gonna show you why now because I make this require uh, I'm gonna put this to be J Jerry Gonzalez <clears throat> and remember one to upper 20 chipping is gonna be 10 is gonna be 30 so the coupon code was 2018 1 to 3 <coughs> <coughs> it makes the 25 discount you can make the whole form however you want when you press buy now what's going to happen it's going to redirect you to where it says paypal account in the paypal account you could pay with this you could pay however you want to pay so <clears throat> pay with a debit card i think it's going to show the logo or the product on top of the little thing that's how you could do it you now you could play with this as many you want look this is a beautiful beautiful man friend so what I was trying to say with the, the with this thing I forgot to tell you that you could change it however you want it change so imagine I want to delete the name right now See, I'm not changing it from which wig already publicated thing. And I want to delete this. So I want this form to look just like that. <clears throat> right? Let me public it. And refresh the page. So you can see, it got deleted from the form. Because you're using a direct code from the thing. So you could whatever you want <clears throat> you don't have to be like copying the code and pasting it and whistle with you just change it from the dashboard also platform um it show you a oh, wordpress platform dreamweaver platform all the stuff yeah, that's what you like so let's go back to this if you got an android or iphone just download got phone for your account and this whole dashboard is gonna be on your phone you make a sell and your phone is gonna start vibrating or making a funny sound like an alarm and that's how you're gonna know you make a sale and yo this is lit lit so I wanna delete the tutorial for my thing so Imagine you got a cell, you got an inbox, and it's gonna show you the cell. If you need a chipping, it's gonna show you the person, chipping address, the picture if you wanna put a picture on it, <clears throat> anything you want. So, like imagine, I wanna go to a form, you could even put a, attach a, a, a file on the thing. You could even put a file on it, and the limit of the file, and what kind of file you want them to upload, everything, file uploader, see, you could set them up option, 
you you could put what kind of file they could put on on the gift they could put uh, how many kilobytes you they could upload it from or just like disable it and they could upload any kind of file even a gigabit it depends the thing how much space do you buy at the beginning of the thing <clears throat> even you come out from the thing it's still gonna save so remember if you're gonna pull the file upload the thing think before how many gigabytes you buy by 10 gigabytes so imagine one person come out of nowhere put one gigabyte on it it's gonna steal your storage thing but it luckily is a monthly so as many submission that I get if I get a dozen submission in a month that's good because then I'm gonna upgrade to 10,000 and then to this and that's it for today guys <clears throat> I'm sorry for my broken English like always and um just trying to talk English man come on you know like uh, anyway guys bye so just subscribe please make me that favor subscribe if I could make more videos please 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 please